So next up, we have a good friend of mine, Emma Books, who is going to be talking a little bit about the Booktonet universe and how to become a booktuber. So can we please give her a warm round of applause as well? Day. So, if you don't know me, my name is Emma. I have a YouTube channel where I talk about books. I've been making bookish videos for five and a half years. I've made nearly 800 videos focused on books now. And so today I'm going to talk a little bit about how I got into the booktube world, why I stay in the booktube world, and how you guys can join if it's something you're interested in. So what is booktube? How many of you have heard of booktube before? Oh, a nice amount. So the, this like next two slides are gonna be kind of pointless for some of you, but it's okay, because maybe some people wanna learn. So booktube is essentially a sub-community on YouTube where people post videos about books, and generally people who make booktube videos are considered booktubers. Uh, there's lots of different content you can find about books on YouTube if you were not previously aware. People do reading vlogs where it's essentially like a documentation of all of their in-the-moment experiences while reading books. It's kind of like a video diary for books. Uh, people do bookshelf tours where they will show off their collection of the books that they have accumulated and how they like to organize them. People do book tags where it's usually a list of questions where they um, usually have a theme and you will use a book to answer the question. And then also book recommendations where people will group books together by genre or subject matter and recommend them to you if it's something that you're looking for. So how did I get into BookTube? Um, when I was a senior in high school, yeah, pretty basic, right? <laughs> Very depressing. Um, when I was in high school, my senior year, all of my friends had really graduated and so I was pretty lonely and isolated in my year. Um, so to compensate for that, to really cope with the difficult emotions I was experiencing, reading became my lifeline. It was really the reason I got up in the morning was to escape into these worlds and to interact with my favorite characters. And it was like literally everything to me. But as I got deeper into my love of reading and I started experiencing more stories, I really wanted to connect with other people who had the same passion but I didn't know anyone in my immediate life who did that. So one day I was watching some interviews from a little movie called City of Bones. Have y'all heard of it? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I was watching interviews with the cast and all of a sudden there was just this video on my recommendations of these two girls called Two Girls Lost in Books. <laughs> and they were basically just pronouncing things from the Mortal Instruments series. You know how fantasy worlds we usually have like a whole set of terminology and stuff that's totally new. They were just saying how they pronounced it. And I was like, that is the coolest thing in the entire world. I had no idea all this time I spent on YouTube that people made videos about books. So I decided to make my own. And that's how I started my YouTube channel. Um, in the five years since I've started, I've been consistently involved in the booktube community. Like I never take a break. It's something that I'm so passionate about. And so I want to talk a little bit about the amazing benefits that I've reaped from being a part of this community and some things that you also might be able to if you're interested in getting into the booktube world. The number one thing for me has been the friends that I've met a part of the booktube community. Uh, like I said, I was really lonely when I started booktube. So entering into this community of people who, like myself, had this love of reading, who accepted me for who I was when everyone else at school might have thought I was quirky or weird, uh, they supported me and opened me with welcome arms. And not only are these some of like the best friends I have ever made, but I also get to meet them and go across the country to book conventions and I get to even go on non-bookish vacations with my friends because they've just become these people that are so integral to my life that I never would have met without BookTube. I've gotten a lot of really cool opportunities as a part of BookTube, um, some that I never would have imagined when I was a younger reader. Um, I've gotten to interview a lot of really amazing authors like Sarah J. Mass, Cassandra Clare, Rochelle Mead, Adam Silvera. I've gotten to speak at panels at different book conventions or events like this, um, and it's always really amazing to not only introduce people into the booktube world, but to connect with other creators and meet other people in the community as well. 
Uh, as you can see in the top left corner, I am cheesing real hard because I received an early copy of my favorite author's newest book. Um, as you'll see in your bag today, you guys have an advanced reader copy. There are books that are printed before the book is actually published for the rest of the world. And so a lot of online book reviewers are able to work with publishers to get books early and help sort of build the hype for them. So it's always really exciting to get a new book I've been anticipating. I've also attended red carpets for book to movie adaptations where I've gotten to meet actors who are portraying book characters that I really love. And I've even traveled to the headquarters of Goodreads to give them feedback on their site and interact with them, all a part of being in the booktube community. And I don't want to make it seem like it's just something that only people who have garnered a huge following or have been in the community for really long can do. People start and they can get arcs really early on to their booktube channel. And I know tons of people who've interviewed authors when they have a much smaller following. So it's not something that's exclusive. Really, anyone can join BookTube and anyone has the chance to sort of get these cool bookish opportunities that come from being a BookTuber or in the online book community. And uh, also book recommendations, which I feel is such like an underrated but constant part of the BookTube community. I have found out about so many books I never would have read if I wasn't watching people talk about them online. So whether you're a watcher of BookTube or someone that is banking videos, like some of my all-time favorite books have come from the booktube community that I never would have given a second glance in the bookstore. Um, similar to friends, the sense of belonging, being a part of something that's bigger than yourself and being able to contribute to a community of people who have the same interests as you is just, it really boosts your self-esteem and allows you to feel bigger than yourself. And along with that comes the self-confidence that I never would have found without being a part of booktube and having a place to express my feelings and share my opinions on books and to meet other people that feel the same way. So if you are maybe interested in joining BookTube or maybe you are a BookTuber who's looking to grow your channel, I have a few tips that I think might be helpful. So the three main things that go into BookTube, I would say, is number one, reading books, which I can assume all of us in this room do, at least sometimes. Um, people think that you have to read a ton of books to be a booktuber, and that's not true at all. It doesn't matter how you read them, whether they're from the library or they're ebooks or hardbacks, paperbacks. It doesn't matter what kind you read because there is absolutely a sub-community of booktube for whatever you're interested in, whether it is young adult, fantasy, romance, contemporary, classics, poetry, it is all on there. And it also doesn't matter how often you read. If you read one new book a month, that's something new for you to talk about on your channel. You shouldn't feel pressured to read an immense amount just to keep up with BookTube. It's all about your process, your passion, and what you are enjoying doing. Making videos is the next thing that's exclusive to BookTube, but there are so many other platforms online as well. If videos aren't your thing, there's Bookstagram where people post pictures of books on Instagram. There are people who will write their book reviews and post them on blogs. So there's a million different ways to interact in the booktube community or in the online book community. But if you're looking to start making videos, I always recommend people start with the equipment that they have. Many of you probably have a camera phone or a computer where you can get access to a free editing software. And by using tutorials online and teaching yourself, it is really an acquired skill, but it's something that anyone is really capable of learning. And the last part is to interact with other people. Um, the best part of BookTube, in my opinion, is the ability to meet other readers, connect with other people who are reading the same things as you or might have the same favorite author, making friends, interacting. It is literally like the reason that people stay in the BookTube community because otherwise it can be very isolating to be a reader as we talked about earlier today. Um, so it really makes something that was previously solitary a more community event. Tips for new booktubers. Uh, my biggest one is always to not sweat the number. Anytime someone is building an online platform, they get really stressed about not having the right amount of views or followers. But the most important thing about booktube is that you're reading the books that you enjoy and you're talking about them. Um, befriend other booktubers, especially fellow newbies. I'm clearly pushing this big community friendship thing. But one of the best things of booktube is being able to meet other people who are in a similar position to you and are just starting out on BookTube, and really I believe that there's a group for everyone. Um, formulaic videos are key. Um, I think in any form of art or creative community, people think that they need to be the next big thing and always be producing something new, but 
especially when it's something that's new to you, you do have to get comfortable with it. And things like tags where you're just answering questions or TBR lists of books that you're excited to read, sticking to those in the beginning can be really helpful in allowing you to discover your personality and your presence on video because it's something that a lot of people don't have experience with, but you won't know unless you give it a try. Um, it's also okay to talk about the same books. Um, you don't have to be reading all of the newest releases or you can stick to rereading the same five books over again. I know I do that all the time. It's totally okay to read what you are happy reading and talk about that on your channel and you shouldn't feel pressured to talk about what everyone else is talking about. And overall, just be patient. It takes time to grow a following, it takes time to make friends, and it takes time to learn how to make videos and get to know your own video making style. Um, and also just a few tips on how to grow your channel if you're someone who has started BookTube and you do want to build a bigger presence and get to know more people and get your opinions out there more. I always say being active is really, really helpful, um, whether that is posting videos frequently or else just interacting in other parts of the community by watching other people's videos, commenting on them, being a part of readathons where people will decide to all read at the same time during the same week. Um, being active and interacting with other people is like the number one way for you to get your name and your channel out there. Being yourself, it sounds so cliche, but it is truly important. Um, there's already this booktuber and that booktuber and you don't need to emulate anyone else. The thing that is really going to bring people back to your channel is your personality and your opinions. Um, getting involved kind of goes along with being active, but especially being a part of other platforms. As I said, there's Bookstagram, there's book blogs, there's book Twitter, there's Goodreads. There's a lot of different um, parts to the online book community. And by talking to other people there, making friends and getting a presence on that platform too, it will bring a whole other traffic of people to your channel. Um, and posting a variety of videos. Like I said before, the formulaic videos, the booktube staples, they're really good for when you're just starting out, or I mean, I still make them all the time. Like I love generic booktube content. But um, when you're just in the beginning, Having those things, that's how people are going to discover your channel most by watching book hauls or watching TBR videos or bookish rants and whatnot. There's also consistent content, so things that people are going to want to recurringly see from you, stuff that you're going to be known for. So that might be reading blogs, it might be book subscription box unboxings, um, things that you're going to really enjoy doing. You can make a little different every time. That's what's going to keep people wanting to watch your videos. And then of course it's always important to have original ideas, stuff that you are passionate about, you're interested in making and experimenting with. Um, that's really what is going to keep you wanting to make videos when you might be getting frustrated about views or about you know, not feeling good enough because that's always a part of just being a part of any community. But having things to make you feel passionate and make you be interested in, those are really where um, the more enjoyment of the community is going to come from. So just to end, I have a few little booktube recommendations if you want to take a picture of it or else I'll be posting this whole thing online. Um, it's really easy to discover the same like 10 booktube channels, but there are thousands upon thousands of people who make videos online. And these are just a few of my favorites. So there's Transformers, Common Spends, Bookish Babbles, and Ashley Alpage. Um, they're people whose videos I really admire and I think that they deserve more hype. Um, so there's my info if you want to follow me online, but if you guys have any specific questions about booktube, joining the booktube community, I'll be here all day. Feel free to chat with me on my breaks. Um, I love talking about booktube and I love giving advice about booktube and I'm always interested in chatting with you all about it. Thank you so much. For